Good evening. I am your name and welcome to tonight's special coverage. With just weeks left before the 2024 election, the race for the White House is heading into the final stretch. On Tuesday, Republican Senator J. D. Vance and Democratic Governor Tim Walz will face off in their first and only vice presidential debate. This showdown, expected to be the last of the election season, will happen in New York, as early voting has already begun in several states, while vice presidential debates typically don T sway voters significantly, this year might be different. In many ways, it s the closing argument of the campaign. It s the final chance for voters to see both sides on stage and make any last comparisons before election day. Both Vance and Walls are relatively new to the national stage. This summer brought them into the spotlight and now they each face distinct challenges heading into Tuesday's debate. For J. D. Vance likability has been a consistent issue. A recent AP NORC poll shows that about half of registered voters have an unfavorable view of the Ohio senator, up from 40% in July. His critics have labeled him as creepy and weird, pointing out that he has a tendency to alienate parts of the audience he should be courting. Tim Walls, on the other hand, is preparing for attacks on his military service and progressive record as governor of Minnesota. Vance has already positioned Walls as a far-left radical aiming to convince mainstream voters that the Democratic ticket is too extreme. For Walls, the main task is to do no harm. He needs to maintain the momentum built by Kamala Harris during her debate with Donald Trump that will be no easy feat, but Walls's supporters are confident that he can match Harris's performance and keep the pressure on Vance. While this vice presidential debate may not carry the same weight as the Trump-Harris debate in a race this close, any viral moment could change the game. That's all for tonight. Stay tuned for full coverage of the debate tomorrow. For now, I am your name, and this is your news channel. Good night.